Hi everyone, welcome to Carmen's Australian Storytime. Today I am reading an Indigenous story, a Dreamtime story called How the Birds Got Their Colours. This book is written by or told by Mary Albert and illustrated and retold by Pamela Lofts. Let's see if there's a blurb. I love these drawings. There's a special story about these drawings. Would you like to hear a story from long ago? My mother used to tell me lots of stories, but this story I loved the best because I loved the birds. So that's not really telling us about the story, but I think it's telling us about this little girl. And she is one of the children from St. Mary's School in Broome in Western Australia, which is on the other side of where we live in Queensland. And she is one of the people whose paintings the illustrations were based on. Well done, because I love these paintings. This is the story of how the birds got their colours. She's very cute. <laughs> long, long ago, in the dream time, when the land and animals were being made, all the birds were black, all one colour, till one day a little dove flew around looking for food. He flew down to the ground to catch a big juicy grub. Do you think you could have a go at painting this? I think you could. But instead he landed right on a sharp stick. Ouch! Does look very sharp. Have you ever done that? I do it a lot because I don't like to wear shoes. It pierced his little foot and made him very sick. For days he lay on the ground in pain. His foot swelled up. He was dying. Oh dear. All his mates gathered around to see how they could help. All except Crow. He just wandered around with his hands behind his back. Suddenly, the parrot rushed forward and with her sharp beak, oh, what's she going to do? <gasps> burst the little dove's swollen foot. She must have had an infection. <gasps> Colour splashed out all over the parrot Red and green and blue ran down her chest, wings and tail. <laughs> Very strange story, isn't it? Not something that you would see normally, but dream time stories are a bit like that. It splashed out all over the other birds. Some got red, some got brown, some blue and some yellow. Red, brown, blue and yellow. Some got spots. Oh, I like this painting. Some got stripes. All except Crow, who was standing away from the others. Crow got no colours at all. So that's how the birds got their colours. How many birds can you see on this page? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and there's one here, little feather, thirteen birds. Great drawing. They did well to fit so many birds on the page. And as, as for the dove, he soon got better, thanked the parrot, and was able to fly away. And there he is, 
So there are some other titles that you can look up, some other Dreamtime stories. Dumby the Owl, Echidna and the Shade Tree, and When the Snake Bites the Sun. Wow. Thank you for joining me on Carmen's Australian Storytime today. And I hope you enjoyed how the birds got their colours. And I would love to see some of your beautiful bird paintings. Don't forget to click and subscribe. And maybe you could read Bob the Artist as well, because that book is about being a bird and an artist at the same time. All right. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.